In this problem, we have to solve this boundary value problem. So it's a differential equation, and then we have two conditions. These are called boundary conditions. Let's go ahead and work through it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll write down what's called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. So it's the second derivative, so it'll be m squared minus 8, and it's the first derivative, so it's just m, and then plus 16, and it's equal to 0. So whenever it's a y, you just you don't put an m. So m squared, m to the first power, and then 16y becomes 16. This should factor. I believe this is m minus 4 squared, and this is equal to 0. You could check that this does actually factor. So you get m equals 4, and this is a solution or a root of multiplicity 2. So we have a repeated root. So when we write our answer down, our solution, our general solution to the DE will be C1E to the 4X. And because it's repeated, you have to put another X. So C2X e to the 4x. So that's our solution to our DE. Uh, the solution to this problem though requires that we find the C's using these conditions. Uh, you'll notice that both conditions are on the original function. Uh, that's why it's called a boundary value problem. Notice that these numbers are different. Normally you have like y of 0 and y prime of 0. Here it's, it's y both times and the x value changes. Let's go ahead and use our conditions. So y of 0 equals 1 is our first condition. So that means we're going to get c e to the 0 plus c2 times 0 e to the 0. Just putting in zeros for all the x's. And this is equal to 1. Well, this piece here is 0 because we have a 0. So we just get c1 times 1 equal to 1. So that means that c1 is equal to 1. That's pretty good. So we have c1 equals 1. That wasn't so bad. And then y of 1 equals 0. Let's try that. So this will be c1 e to the 4 plus c2 e to the 4, right? Because x is 1, so it goes away. You just get e to the 4, and this is equal to 0. So we know something about c1. It's equal to 1. So we have e to the 4, because the c1 is 1 plus c2 e to the 4, and this is equal to 0. We can subtract e to the 4 from both sides. That gives us c2 e to the 4 equals negative e to the 4, and then divide by e to the 4, that will give us c2 equals negative 1, so that's our c2. All right, now we just go back here and fill in the answer. So the final answer to this problem will be y equals, well, c1 is 1, so we just get e to the 4x. And c2 is minus 1, so it'll be minus x e to the 4x. What a, what a nice answer. So that will be the final answer to the problem, just plugging in the 1 and the negative 1 here. I hope this video has been helpful.